Frank Romanelli. I'm a staff member of the Media Education Lab at the Harrington School of Communication and Media at the University of Rhode Island. And I've been asked to talk about how digital and media literacy play, in, play a role in my teaching. Um, I really have to go back to the beginning of my teaching and, and talk about uh, what I learned in my first year of teaching. I was teaching high school right out of college in the mid-80s and I was um, working with what they called a low-level group of learners. I was told by my department chair that they shouldn't take books home because they wouldn't bring them back because they often didn't come back and to keep my expectations low. And we were using a book in class that was probably a book I would have read in the fourth or fifth grade. And there was one student who just quietly and respectfully checked out, wouldn't be involved, wasn't reading the book, wouldn't participate in the class in any way. One day I walked by his desk and I noticed that he was reading Crime and Punishment. <laughs> and I felt like something obviously was very wrong with that picture. He wound up failing my class because as a first year teacher I didn't know what else to do. And as I reflected that summer, whether or not it was on him to be in the right class or on us to, to run a better class, I think both were true, I knew that I couldn't be that teacher. And I had to really reflect on what teaching meant to me. And the word that came to mind for me was relevance. I knew that everything I wanted to teach needed to be relevant to their lives and that they needed to understand that. And I made a a contract with my classes from then on and I would tell them you tell me if anything in this class doesn't make sense to you and you ask me why we're learning it and if I can't give you a satisfactory answer we won't. So what was happening at the same time um, much to my pleasure was digital media l literacy was happening it was becoming a part of literacy the, the new part of literacy and there was a whole explosion of technology that was becoming very relevant um, as one of the major roles, one of the major modes of writing and communication. So I saw an opportunity, again, to be relevant, and I engaged in that, um, something that I do personally anyway, and I grew with that. So here I am years later in the Media Education Lab, and that has evolved into me working with uh, teachers and students in digital and media literacy with the Summer Institute in Digital Literacy on the leadership tier, looking for ways to be a leader with, literacy, with digital literacy and modeling for my students. And one of the main, I think, digital literacy skills that I have is that I am a person who, who sees an opportunity to use something in a way that makes sense in my teaching or in my communication or in my creation of relationships with communication and media. So I am always bringing new things into my classroom. I create an environment where students bring things into the classroom where they teach each other and sometimes they teach me. And it's a very, very exciting, ever-evolving thing. And it has really met the challenge that I put forward for myself all those years ago to be relevant. And I hope that I continue to do that throughout my teaching career and throughout my life.